I've worked on these pages and I probably spent roughly 30 minutes on each one of them um, so far. And uh, for the 100 day project, my minimum amount for working on a page is at least probably 10 minutes or so, kind of like the 10 to 15 minute range. Um, but of course I did spend longer because I felt like there was stuff that I was trying to get out of my system. And the page that I started with um, adding more detail to was really the worry page. And that's where I felt like um, when I was journaling today, I was releasing a lot of worried and kind of hurried thoughts um, onto the page and I was writing and like scribbling really fast. And um, I allow myself 30 minutes to journal um, when I'm in that when, when I'm in that mode, but I completed several pages within probably like 10 minutes. So I knew <laughs> and and the thoughts were just racing today. And I don't know if it was too much caffeine or if it's just worrying about um, just all sorts of things. And it was sort of compiling. And a lot of it had to do also with my to do list. <clears throat> So that's one reason I really liked starting with this page because there were all these stacked boxes and they had numbers on them. There's some little wooden blocks here as well with numbers. Um, and there's some back here. And of course this book is the Pottery Barn workspace book, which I've been using as my journal. So when I did a flip through of this, if you're interested, where I actually talk about what each page means, like what I was thinking that day. And it's fairly lengthy, but um, I also plan on producing a flip through with just music and no talking. So um, keep an eye, uh, look out for that. Um, but today, yeah, I, I definitely wanted to get this feeling kind of out of my system. And so when I applied like the Neo Colors, um, my well loved Neo Colors, um, I was kind of exploring the colors, of, you know, like the red um, and just all the feelings that she was holding inside of her. Um, and then over here, especially, I really felt like that, just that, that same frantic energy that I felt when I was writing. And so I just wanted to kind of release that onto the page. And I know if you're an artist or an art journal or you understand exactly what I'm talking about, um, but then as I worked with this, I also started working with this color and um, it was almost like she was emanating like sparks and, and, uh, and she was overcoming the worry. You know, the worry was kind of like this red cloud that was sort of oppressing her. And uh, I used these big chunky block letters from my sticker book to emphasize that. Um, and even this this eye here it just reminded me of like um, how my my vision was sort of clouded with all the, these thoughts of worry and wondering how things were going to turn out and uh, and personal issues as well as like in our world and some of the global issues that we're facing right now. So was, there was a real sense that after I dealt with the worry and I kind of allowed it to be, then I was sort of releasing that feeling of. Um, fighting against it somewhat <laughs> or like kind of pushing it out of my the system um, and of course I also chose I chose a lot of stickers very randomly um, in this process I didn't think too much about it and like even when I first started applying stickers I just turned to, to like the first page that I opened the book to and I just used what was on there so there was these stickers here that said in and out and that reminded me of our inboxes or the outgoing you know mail that we have or the outgoing projects that we're trying to deliver and that's kind of where my brain is right now i am very much focused on a to-do list i have a lot of things going on that i'm getting ready to launch um, including my patreon i want to release on march 1st uh, i want to restock my etsy shop you know there's these different kind of business related tasks that I'm working on um, and those are just the main two right now but there's also other things I'm dealing with um, but then there's also that sense of worry um, 
about things going on globally right now and you know um, this threat of war and things like that so there's just a lot kind of in my mind so I was releasing all that and I really noticed especially in this area I just felt like the same frantic energy I had when I was journaling and it was really good to just let that out but then there was that feeling of okay I can push all this away and it's almost like these letters are breaking up and, and dissipating and then on this side uh, what I liked about this is I'd already had these two ladies uh, I had cut them out and they were in my stash um, and I felt like you know they, they have a very similar pose <clears throat> and um, and at first I was like well do I want to use both of these ladies <laughs> you know and um, it it didn't totally I don't know I was I wasn't for sure I was like do I need just one focal point but then I realized as as this progressed that you know uh, they represented um, they were both kind of seeking a kind of introspection and they both wanted calm um, this feeling of calmness uh, but again she was dealing with a lot of worry and she just had to release it all um, so this lady here is I added this quote here that says, feeling strong, feeling confident, nothing is better. Um, and I knew like this page, even though it is fairly busy in a way, it's still not that frantic energy that you have on this side. And because of the colors also, there's cool colors here representing that sense of calmness. And over here, there's like reds and oranges. And um, that, again, that represents kind of those feelings inside that are just sort of burning <laughs> so um so i explored kind of this watery um, color palette over here and then for the stickers i used um again i didn't think a whole lot about it but i just sort of grabbed what was speaking to me so there's a a, a feather pen which reminds me of some writing projects that i want to work on um, and then i added this color graph here uh, for color theory and the butterfly had similar color patterns and then also this fish, which is, as I shared in previous videos, uh, represents thoughts and it's sort of that, um, these thoughts that are swimming around in our head. And sometimes they're calm and sometimes they're frantically swimming as well, you know? So, um, so at first I just had the words in and out, but I, was, I wasn't really, I knew I wanted to add this worry over on this side, but I was almost completing this and I realized I, need a me I needed a message over here. And at first I was like, well, does this part even matter? You know, maybe I could say like, don't worry. And this would just sort of blend into the background if maybe I added to it, um, you know, sort of covered it over a bit. Um, but then I realized that I wanted to cut out some words or some letters. Um, so I used um, a Reader's Digest magazine and I was just looking for large letters, and at first I chose one from here, from the word racket, but then I found this article for Columbiana, Ohio, or something like that, and of course it had all the letters in it that I needed. So I went ahead and just used the same, and I thought these letters also felt more calming, you know, than the, these block letters here did not feel, have that same feel to them in the font. <clears throat> so, so when I have calm in and worry out, then I knew that I, I had the message that I needed. And I am participating in the 100 day project and I'm actually a little behind on it, but I decided today to do two more pages and, uh, and I might just do two more pages until I catch up completely. Uh, this will be, if I'm not mistaken, day five and six. And then for day seven, um, I probably will finish this page because I, I sort of have a, a first layers on here, but I wanted to go back in and add a little bit more stuff. So that will be something else I work on. So I'm just using a sketching pencil by Prang. It's a 6B pencil. And uh, I just add water to it a bit like people do with the Stabilo Alls. And um, that's kind of what I'm using to add a little more definition to these letters so that's kind of where my mindset was when i put this together
but I didn't really um, try to think too much about it. I just sort of let this emerge and I didn't have a set plan to begin with, which most of my art journaling is completely like that. I, I don't have a set agenda and it allows me to just allow what's below the surface, kind of like this fish that's floating around. The f fish for me represent our thoughts um, and sometimes the fish are swimming very gently, very calming, uh, and other times they're 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 here and there and everywhere, and they're like looking for food and they're looking for whatever, and or maybe they're fighting, <laughs> and that's sort of like our thoughts when we have competing thoughts with each um, one another and things like that. So. Um, even though there is a lot happening on this page, as far as there's a lot of details, um, this page definitely has the more, let me push this over a little bit. This page definitely has more of that frantic feeling that I was trying to express. And this side, um, again, even though it's kind of busy, it's a good kind of busy, you know, and I feel like she's just uh, tapping into her creativity and she's using her voice. Um, she's tapping into her wisdom, which I represented with this little cute little blue owl. Um, and, and then there's the butterfly and there's this color uh, chart and things like that. And I just, that reminded me of the creative process that I'm trying to share. But I didn't take a lot of time choosing. I just started grabbing things from the sticker book that resonated with me. I didn't think too much about it. Even with this, I'm trying to be a little bit messier with this worry. With my pencil, I'm just using messier pencil marks because I'm still trying to keep this page with that same theme that's happening with this franticness. So I might go in and try to add a little bit more water. This isn't quite as dark as the Stabilo All pencils, but it still adds a little bit of something. I don't want to lose all those messy marks though. This really isn't spreading around quite as much as I thought it would. So what I might do is go in with um, some Neo Colors here they're really multi-purpose. I don't know if I like... Now it's almost ruining that letter for me. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have left it alone. Maybe I'll just do a slight bit. So what are some ways that you deal with worry? Um, do you use your journal? Do you write? Do you draw or paint? Um, do you collage? Do you just try to ignore it? <laughs> or maybe you do some deep breathing? I don't like the way I covered over some of that blue sky there, so I'll probably go in with um, some other colors here. I don't know if I can bring that back or not. Because now I'm just, the paper is very um, fragile because that's almost like a newsprint kind of paper. Hmm. 
what I'll probably do is just wait till this dries and then I might go in and add um, some blue paint or something like that. And it's very possible I might go in and add more details to these pages as time goes on anyway, but I think this is enough for this session. So I'd love to hear about your projects and um, thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing more videos with you and you can tune in next time where I will share a short video of finishing off this page or this spread here. Thank you.